It's certainly been a tough year for everybody dealing with a global pandemic. For the Caribbean region, where tourism is our lifeblood, it's been especially tough economically. But in the Bahamas, on the 48th anniversary of their independence, leaders talk about the hope for the future and how to move forward successfully. One Caribbean News, Deandra Hamilton reports. When leaders of the Bahamas addressed the citizens and residents on the 48th anniversary of independence, they spoke to the hard times of recent years, the current challenges amidst the pandemic, and the potential of the country despite. Unemployment rates surged in the health and financial crisis of COVID-19. And though life is moving toward the new normal with tourism making a vigorous return, a mass layoff at the Atlantis Paradise Island Resort, still unopened resorts like the Sandals Royal Bahamian, rebuilding still underway in Grand Bahamas, and Abaco after the hurricane and continued threats from coronavirus, including its new variant Delta, make the road rugged. Prime Minister Hubert Minnis said vaccine uptake assures a swift bounce back and touted small business buoyancy is key to economic recovery. The Haymans have the talent to own any type of business in our economy. Let us be thankful to God on this Independence Day that through his blessings and mercy, we are overcoming these most trying of times. The opposition Progressive Liberal Party is the political machine which ushered the country to independence on July 10th in 1973. Now the current leader, Brave Davis, is pitching his readiness to march the Bahamas out of the grip of the pandemic. We are able to deliver on the promise of independence. But my friends, that future is not inevitable. It will only come about if we commit to a new direction, commit to bringing about a new dawn for our country. To achieve it, we renew and refresh our vision of nationhood. The final official note came from the Governor General who classed Bahamians as overcomers. When I reflect on the last several months, I am reminded of, of and encouraged by the biblical message of 2 Corinthians 4 and 8.